guys, welcome back to Bakes by Mal. So today I've got a super exciting video. I'm actually throwing my best friend a surprise party. So I've set everything up and I've invited all her friends around and you're coming with me. I'm also, of course, baking her birthday cake. So in this video, I'm also showing you how to make the perfect Biscoff and chocolate cake for any celebration. And if you haven't already, please check out my last video where I show you how to make an Eaton Mess cheesecake, perfect for Valentine's Day. And also my Instagram at face and Facebook at Bakes by Mile and a Spring with Vita. So for the chocolate cake, you will need 550 grams of caster sugar, 525 grams of plain flour, 95 grams of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of bicarb of soda, five free range large eggs, 350 milliliters of coffee, 350 milliliters of buttermilk, and 320 milliliters of vegetable oil. So first I'm gonna sift all the dry ingredients into a large bowl. So first goes in my plain flour and my caster sugar. I'm just gonna start by sieving that all in. And at this stage, I'm also gonna add in my cocoa powder and my bicarb. I'm just going to sift that all in. So now I'm just going to add my wet ingredients into a bowl. So I've got five large eggs that I've already cracked and they all go in. So in this jug I've got 350 ml of buttermilk. Um, I've also got 350 grams of cold coffee so I just used instant coffee and also 320 grams of vegetable oil and this is also going into the jug. And I'm going to grab a whisk and just whisk it up a little bit. So now that I'm done whisking it, I'm going to start adding my dry ingredients little by little. So I'm just going to do it in three to four parts. Just grabbing a whisk like so. And you just want to keep going like that. And when you're about halfway adding all the ingredients, you can switch to a spatula. Just to make it a little bit easier. So my batter is ready here and I've got four seven inch springform pans lined. So I've just greased them with some butter and lined them with parchment paper. So I'm going to start filling my pans up. So I normally use um, scales just to make sure they're super nice and even. And I put about 550 grams to 600 grams into each. So now I'm going to pop these into a preheated oven at 170 for about 40 to 45 minutes. So it's now the next day and I've taken my cakes out of the oven and they've just been cooling in the tin overnight. So now I'm going to make some Biscoff buttercream. So this is to fill the cake. So in a bowl I've got 115 grams of unsalted and softened butter. <coughs> and to that I'm also going to add 240 grams of Biscoff spread. So this is like the most delicious thing ever, basically. It's like a cookie spread, and I think it's called speculose in some countries. I don't really know, but it's like a cookie spread. And you can get it in most shops. But I think the most popular brand is Biscoff. <laughs> yeah, so I've put it all into a sand mixer. And now I'm just going to whip it up a bit on high. So my butter has been whipping for about two minutes. So now I'm going to sift in my icing sugar and I've got 120 grams. And remember all the ingredients and measurements will be linked in the description box below. Not linked, don't put written here. So I'm just going to sift in the icing sugar in like so. I'm going to put it back onto the stand mixer and mix, uh, whisk it for a further like five to six minutes. But you want to start low so it doesn't explode in your face. So I've taken the cakes out of the cake tin. So I'm going to level the tops off. So I like to use a cake leveler. I know a lot of people use a serrated knife and you can do that if you want, but I just find cake levelers a lot easier. So my biscuit buttercream is ready in my bowl and I've got all my cakes nicely leveled over here. So what I'm going to do now is start building my cake up. 
So I like to use acrylic discs to um, like assemble my cakes. So I'll talk you through what they are and how to use them later. But for the moment, I've just got a turntable and on top I've got an acrylic disc, which is just like a plastic um, circle. And it just helps get really nice sharp edges on your cakes. And I've just popped it onto the turntable. And what I've done is I've taken a paper towel, put some water on it, and I squeezed it out and then I popped it on. So it acts as like a non-stick mat. So it's not going anywhere. And I've also got um, my offset palette knife and my normal palette knife. And a metal cake scraper. So to start, I'm just gonna put a bit of buttercream onto the acrylic disc and spread it around. And then taking my first cake layer, I always put it so the flat side is down, or the bottom of it. Press it down, and then get a nice dollop of buttercream. And then you take your next cake layer and put it down so the bottom is on the top. Make sure it's aligned and everything, which it is. Put your next layer of buttercream on. And then again, taking your offset palette knife, just want to spread it around. Like so. And then you take your next cake layer, put it on top, make sure everything's leveled. And take your last bit of buttercream. And grab your last cake layer and just put it on top. Just make sure all the sides are lined up and everything. It's all super straight. And now I'm going to do the crumb coat. So as you can see, there's a lot of buttercream already on the side. So what you can do is just take in your offset palette knife, just smooth it onto the cake. And that's my crumb coat done. So now I'm just gonna pop it into the fridge for about half an hour just to set everything up and then we'll move on to the final layer. So my cake is now in the fridge and I'm gonna get on with the buttercream. So I've showed you how to make this in a few of my previous videos, but I'll just go over it again briefly. So in my stand mixer, I've got 750 grams of unsalted butter. Again, it's a lot, but it's a big cake, so. And it's nicely softened. So I actually put it in the microwave for 10 seconds just to really soften it up. And I'm gonna whisk it on high with my balloon whisk for about five to 10 minutes. Just put the um, mixture to the side and now I'm just gonna get on with the second part. So I've got two, 375 grams of icing sugar. And I'm just gonna sift it into a bowl like so. And then over the top, I'm gonna put 120 milliliters of milk. So I'm just going to whisk, whisk it up with a spatula. So I've mixed it all up and I'm just going to sift it into another jar to get rid of any lumps. So the butter is super nice and light and fluffy now. So I'm just going to pour the mixture in and have it on about a low speed. So I just whisked it for a further um, five minutes and that was super nice and pale and fluffy so I want to colour my entire batch in one go because today I'm just doing one colour but first I'm going to clear my whisk and I'm just going to scrape down and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paddle whisk um, paddle attachment on and add some colour in so I've got the Pro Gel um, Concentrated Food Colour by Rainbow Dust in peach. And I've also got the Colour Splash Concentrated Food Colour in pink. And they're both gel. And I'm going to pop a bit of this in to start with. I love this colour. This is actually one of my favourite colours. I'm just going to pop it onto whisk again on high speed for about two to three minutes. So this will knock all of the bubbles out so you get a really nice smooth coating. so nice to work with so as you can see my buttercream is super super nice and um, smooth there are no air bubbles be so nice to work with I'm gonna start I'm um, doing my final layer so I use my acrylic discs so I'm just gonna pop a bit of buttercream down 
and then take my acrylic disc and put it on top and taking my um cake scraper i'm going to try and line it up to the bottom and top and give it a press down and i always start with the top so you kind of want to smush on some buttercream on the top right so once i've gone all the way around i'm going to switch to my large um straight palette knife and take a large blob of it and just start applying it onto the cake. So I'm doing this like back and forth motion to apply the icing. And I love using this straight palette knife because you can get lots on and get this done really quickly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wet um, my cake scraper under some hot water and then run it along just to get a really smooth finish. So I'm just going to pop this into the fridge now for about half an hour and in the meantime I'll just get ready and do all the decorations.